What's going on everyone? This is Josh from Empty Church here and you have joined us this week for our weekly recap of what we do on Sunday mornings when we gather. We like to call it as seen on Sunday. And just while you're here, if you like videos to help you engage your faith on the six days between Sundays when the church buildings are empty, we ask you to hit that subscribe button below. Every week we kick it off with the verse of the week and it's coming up right now. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Now we move into a time of our weekly corporate confession. Would you join me as we ask God to work in our lives? Daddy God, thanks for loving me, for adopting me, for setting me free from my sin. I'm sorry for when I doubt your love. I'm sorry when I don't keep in step with your spirit. I know that you hear me and that you forgive me. Help me walk worthy of your great calling. Amen. At the very moment of salvation, the Holy Spirit lives within us. He dwells within us. But that doesn't make us some spiritual robot that we don't, we have to forfeit our free will. It's not what happens. In fact, Paul says that we have a great responsibility to keep in step with what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives. You can find that in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, if you're interested. Um, but with that great responsibility can come some trepidation and fear that we aren't living up to the high calling of the gospel. As Christians, we have a really big problem. Even though we are free from the chains of sin and the bondage of slavery that our sinful nature had wrapped us in, we're free from that, but we're not perfect. And we fail and we sin and we fall. And if we're not careful, we can begin to hear the lies of Satan more than the truth of our father. Satan will take our moments of rebellion and turn them into a full-fledged assault to get us to doubt our security in God's love and our security in our salvation. And many Christians, after they've fallen down and stumbled into sin again, will begin to hear things like, what kind of Christian are you? You can't even you know, stop sinning for a day. Or how can God love someone as sinful as you? And if we're not careful, we can start to believe those lies. But in our verses for the week, Paul reminds us that we don't have to be a slave to fear. We don't have to be forlorn. We don't have to be depressed because we don't live up to the high calling. Because we've been given a spirit of adoption as God's children. He becomes our Papa God, our Daddy God. And that is one of the most beautiful truths of the scripture that is one of the most often ignored facts of following Jesus. When reading Romans chapter 8, we'd love to skip down to the last couple of verses and say nothing will be able to separate us from the love of Christ. Not height, not depth, not angels, and so on and so forth. We love those verses, but those verses have an added depth when we think about our God as our Papa Daddy. If we skip over this part, we miss the beauty of the capstone of this chapter. God loves us like the best father could ever love his child. He wants to bring us to himself and sit us on his, and sit us on his knee and bounce us up and down and have a good giggle together. He also 
will always love and forgive us when we fall down. We don't have to listen to the lies of Satan that we're rotten Christians. We do have to remember and live by the truth that God as our Papa Daddy will always love us. He will always forgive us. He will always correct us and he will always change us. Now we know that God's love does not give us a free license to sin. It doesn't take away our responsibility to moment by moment walk in the Spirit, keep in step with the Spirit. We still have that responsibility, but we can move forward day by day knowing that if and when we do fall, that our Father God, our Papa God will always accept us back. That gives us the confidence to move forward and not be a slave bound to fear. This is one of the most comforting and beautifully assuring segments of scripture that God as our daddy helps us move forward out of the insecurity, the um, halting nature of this bondage filled nature of our sin he frees us from that and he calls us to himself and he calls us to move forward we have to have to have to live in the truth and in the presence of our papa god and that wraps up our sermon recap for this week i want to thank you for tuning in and turning up and i want to remind you that throughout the week on our facebook page and our twitter account that members from empty church uh, give their responses to the sermon for the week uh, you know, oftentimes we uh, listen to what the pastor has to say and it goes in one year and out the other. This way you can listen to Sarah, Sean, Crystal, and myself um, revisit the uh, sermon uh, throughout the week and uh, you can chime in with your thoughts as well. Leave a comment on a video that you see and as I said, you can find that on our Facebook page and our Twitter account. I will leave the links in the description below. And for those out there who like to read uh, and meditate on sermon notes, uh, you can find them all on our webpage, www.empty.church, uh, under our blog. Uh, feel free to use them in whatever way that you feel fit. Take the graphics, take whatever. Um, our, our gift to you, it's cool. Uh, we love for you to be able to engage your faith on the six days between Sundays when the church buildings are empty. This has been Josh from Empty Church. Thank you for tuning in and turning up. And I know it's not the same as being here with us, but you've just been to Empty Church as seen on Sunday.